your own. Here we go. Hi, so I'm gonna test today a lamb gnocchi and I'm gonna take you with me. Here we go. This is quite a bare bones little rig for today. But usually when I test things, I have my knife or this is just a studio knife. Nice board, salt, oil, always. This is pretty empty, but should be right. And then a little thing of spoons, because you always need spoons. And uh, this empty bowl is a bin, which is something that I learned in restaurants, but always have. I mean, you know, there is a bin here, but it's just force of habit. I always have a bin here. So if you're like, you know, peeling an onion, instead of leaving shit all over your board, just put it in your bin. Easy. I guess, kind of, yeah. Shout out to Kenji, the OG. Camera strapped to the head guy. It's like Kenji meets Fallow meets Mob, I suppose. And I also have a notepad because when you're testing a lot of recipes, it's very easy to forget or get confused about what you're doing. I always make little notes. I'll go back to them and don't really know what I'm talking about, but today we are going to make, it's a little six ingredient recipe. So we just released a book called Mob Six and you lot all really like all of the six ingredient recipes. So we're gonna carry on making them. And so today's ingredients include lamb mince. So I've got 500 grams here, but I reckon I'm only gonna need 400 of those grams. Red onions times two, pomegranate molasses, uh, Raz Al Hanout is bringing the flavor. And what else we got? We got mint for a bit of fresh and gnocchi. I've only got this much gnocchi, which is one bag how many, ba how many portions do you get out of a bag of gnocchi? What, two? Mm -hmm. Two? Okay, cool. Three. Three? All right, well, I need to weigh it because I can't remember how much the bag was. All right, let me grab a scale. Jar here. Okay, so it's 500 grams of gnocchi. We will judge at the end how many portions that makes. I think I'm gonna use 400 grams of mince. So, before we do anything, I mean, I've already kind of thought about the method here. So I'm gonna crisp up the lamb mince. I'm going to start this off in the pan. Uh, I've already got my water going for the gnocchi in a minute. So this is in my big pan I'm gonna use today. Turn that on, is that the right one? No. Which one is it? This one. There we go. Right, get that pre-eating. Now, I want 400 grams of this mince. And at the butcher, I know it was like, it's just over 500. So here's a fun little trick. I'm gonna show you how to take 400 grams out of this using a scale. And some of you might have seen this already, but I think it's quite smart. This whole thing weighs 795 grams. So if I took out 400, there'd be 395 left. However, that's too complicated. So I'm just gonna hit zero. Whether you can see that, zero. And now when I take mince out, it'll say minus 77 grams. So I know that that is 77 grams. Genius. Cool, right, other hand, clean hand. All in the pan. A little bit of olive oil. This will have a little bit of fat in it, so I don't need to go too crazy. So now I'm gonna just take out, that's 240. Just crumble that in. Do you know what? I'm gonna go for 300 and, hello Gabe. Hello. 350 grams, I reckon, because 400 feels like too much for this amount of gnocchi. Thinking. Do you know what? I'm gonna stop there, 300 grams. Let's just do that. So, quickly wash my hands. Um, lamb gnocchi, six ingredients. Another one, back again. If you can see down here, I've got this, which is a little towel. Keep that there. So, am I gonna add salt to this yet? No, not yet. If I add salt, it's gonna draw out all of the moisture in the lamb and it won't caramelize quite as nicely or quickly. And the, the goal with these kind of recipes is to keep it really, quick. So back to my notes, 300 grams. So now while that's going, we're going to get all this shot out of the way. This is now my bin and I'm going to slice these onions up. And I'm thinking I'm going to cook most of them and then like kind of caramelize them in the lamb fat and then keep some raw for the top for a bit of bite. So with that in mind, oh, oh God, knife's a bit blunt. Let's give that a little, little hone. Try 
try that again. Ah, that's better. Top and tail. In half. See, everything's just going straight in the bin. We love it. Dun, 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 dun. Peel that off. Half an onion. Lamb is smelling good already. So here in Hoxton, where the studio is, there's some fantastic little Turkish supermarkets. I went down to Hoxton Street to Alif, which is my favorite. And the butcher there is such a nice guy. And he has lovely lamb. That's where I got it. So I need a little wooden spoon or something to start moving this around. And grab one of these. So you'll notice I haven't touched this yet. Like the longer you leave it, the nicer. If I can just pick this up, we can have a look. Because if you don't touch it, you start to get all of these brown bits. I actually want a bit more colour than that, so I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to stir it yet. I'm going to leave that like that. Let it go. Back to our onions. Just a nice thin slice. I when I'm you know when you're doing kind of a midweek recipe like that, I'm not really bothered about kind of finely dicing an onion, you know? Like how easy is that? So easy and really that's fine. It's gonna cook nice and evenly. It's really quick to do. You don't have to fanny around like this and then this. You're just running on through the onion. And the last one. I reckon I'll cook maybe I'll definitely cook all of that because by the time it's cooked, it'll be, you know, that. And then with this guy, I will save that for the top and then we'll cook the rest here. Right, that lamb is smelling very nice. So onions are there, ready for the pan. Let's take a look at this. Woohoo! Right, this looks amazing. Drop the heat a little bit. Now, because I didn't touch it, look at that color. That's what we want. So we want this to be pretty crispy. We're not going for like juicy, juicy, rare lamb. So I'm just gonna start breaking it up. Break it down. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm just gonna let it go. Keep, keep going. Amazing. So, onion's done. We'll just give this one over here a little. We're just gonna break up into those nice little slivers. So I'm just gonna save this for the top. You know, in an ideal world, if you wanted to add seven ingredients, a little bit of garlic in this would be nice, you know? Maybe a little dollop of yogurt or a squeeze of lemon. But this game is six ingredients. So we're hopefully gonna be all right with just this. Um, let's have a plate, should we do this plate? Planning ahead. Lamb's crisping up. Yum, maybe three minutes. It's getting there. Can, I, can you see how it's all, everything's starting to turn that nice golden or like kind of darker brown? It's in quite small pieces. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough because I'm, I'm now not gonna add any more of this. I'm hoping that's gonna be all right. What do you think, Chloe? Come and have a look. For this much gnocchi, I only did, I did 300 grams of mince. Just as like, a, I reckon that'd be all right. Yeah. Cool, all right. What is cooking? Little, yeah, little lamb gnocchi. Never been done by me. These are so hard. Yeah, I know, they're, they were in the fridge. I'm just kind of fridge raiding a little bit. Um, so yeah, I hope they're all right. So I've got to think about when I'm going to add this. So this is Raz Al Hanout, which is a lovely spice blend. Uh, what's it got in it? Ginger, paprika, coriander, cumin, sugar, salt, turmeric, chili, loads of stuff. Rose, rose petals, cumin, yum. So this, something like this is a really good thing. If you've only got six ingredients, this is kind of cheating because this has got about 20 ingredients in here. So I'm going to use that. And I'm not going to add it now because I think if I add it now, it will burn because this pan's really hot. But this lamb's doing beautiful things. And I reckon I'm 
might pull it here. So I'm gonna go heat off. I'm gonna grab a little tray. Like this. I remember I haven't added any salt to this yet. So this is literally just crispy lamb mince. Stunning. Can leave a little bit in there. Because all this, all, all the, of our next steps are gonna kind of sort all of that out. So yeah, crispy lamb mince, done. Right, heat back on. Now we're gonna use the onion. I only want a little bit more oil in there, just to get things going. I quite like cooking with like lots of olive oil. I'm a big butter guy. I don't really cook with veg oil either, or like, you know, some people cook with like peanut oil or whatever. I just, olive oil for everything. I made chips earlier and I used olive oil. They're delicious. So that's what, one and a half red onions, or one and three quarter red onions. So I'm gonna give them a little toss in that oil. Get them nicely coated. Bit of salt. Lovely. So the salt now, now I'm seasoning it because I want these to break down and kind of start to caramelize. So in this pan, there's a load of lamb fat. There's still a few little crispy lamb bits, salt, red onions, all having a good time. All right. I'm gonna let it go. Check back in a minute. So when I'm writing this, I'm not gonna write, obviously write the full recipe in here. That would be silly because I'm still working through it. So it's kind of shorthand, so I'll be like, crisp lamb, brackets, four to five minutes. That's roughly how long it took. Well, what I'll ordinarily do, this is almost like development stage, and then if I want to test it again, I'll send this to somebody else, or I'll do it myself, and we'll time these. So we'll actually have a timer and time it, and just so it's in this ballpark. I mean, you know, every, it's all always different because your stove's different to mine, yours might be more powerful, mine might be more powerful, your onion might be cut a little bit thicker than mine, or thinner and you know you, you've got a there's always wiggle room but it's good to give like ballpark figures visual cues I think are really useful so if I was like oh crisp your lamb and then some people might be like well Ben what the fuck are you talking about how how do I know when it's done if I go crisp your lamb until it's brown and well crispy no that's rubbish so I need to think of like a, a visual cue so I keep breaking it down cooking it until it's in small small crispy pieces like that I like that kind of thing, I don't know. So crisp lamb, four to five minutes. Slice onions. Reserve one eighth, which is one quarter of one onion if there's two. Sweat onion with salt. Cool. And we will see how long this takes. But I don't think it's gonna take too long. I mean, they're already on the way. So looking lovely. See, they've gone, they've kind of picked up some of that color from the bottom of the pan. I'll probably turn the heat down a bit, it's a little, a little high. What else can we do? So now we're just standing here while this happens. This is done, that's moving. We can pick through some mint because you, whilst we love mint, but we don't love all mint. I've kind of found this at the back of the fridge, so it's a bit sad, but it's still full of flavor, still can be used. So it's one, two, three, four, five leaves, and then we don't want the stem. The stem's good for like, if you're making tea or, I don't know, infusing something, you can hang on to this. Still, if I squash it and smell it, very minty, but no good to eat. So, and like these black leaves, like they don't look great, but they're still tasty, so you can use them. So I'm just gonna pick through this, and you know, just think about what I've got on this week, what I'm doing tonight, what I'm having for my dinner. What are you doing tonight? What are you having for your dinner? Maybe you've had your dinner. Maybe you're eating your dinner now while you watch me pick mint. Who knows? Right, enough of that. These are happy doing the thing. I'm gonna go a little bit more oil, you know. Just wanna make sure everything's nicely lubricated. Back to the mint. So you see how, you know, multitasking is very important. It's all about being efficient, you know? I think we're gonna go for like a kind of decent handful here. So I reckon I'm gonna probably want most of this. Very really quiet day in the office here today. It's not usually this quiet in here. It's quite nice to um, to do this almost on my own. Chloe is cooking, she's around, but this is an unheard of, unprecedented scene. 
Right, I think that might be enough mint. I'll do a little tiny bit more for, for say, ooh, that looks like a nice leaf. Yeah, let's have that. That will do. And I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna save some of this because I, I wanna put some on at the end with this, with this guy. So, we're gonna pick out some pretty leaves for later, like, this is nice. This isn't massively pretty mint because it's been lodged at the back of the fridge for a while. Mm. The siren. Onions. Looking good. Breaking down nicely. Keep them going. Leaves, 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 leaves. Leaves. All right, so. That's for later, that's our little garnish section. This is all gonna go through the gnocchi with this, our crispy lamb. Right, moving on, clean spoon. I am now, now these are nice and soft and caramelized. I'm gonna add a, some type, right, so, I haven't used this particular Ras El Hanout before. It's a very fancy one, it's got whole rose petals in it. Let me see if I can find one. I just saw one. Very fancy. It's like whole spices in it and ground. Yeah, look, there's one. A little rose petal on there. Bougie. So I'm going to just taste a bit to see how strong it is. Just straight onto your tongue. Ooh, it's very sweet. Wow. Yeah, it's got brown sugar in it. Mmm. Whoa, it's interesting. That's very different to other ones I've had. So I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm gonna go, I reckon, what's that? That's about a tablespoon. In fact, I will measure it. Let's go over here and fetch. This is the tablespoon measure. I'm gonna bring my black pepper too, because it's always handy. So I'm gonna go for a tablespoon because this is gonna bring most of the flavor to this recipe. So I just kind of level that off. And in it goes. Cool, we'll start there. If we wanna add more, you can. And I think one thing to remember is, you know, you can add more, but you can't get it back once it's in. So, I'm just gonna toast Kind of toast that off in the hot pan. Wow, that smells good. Mama. Right, so our water's been boiling. I boiled this before I turned this on um, because I'm very organized and we don't, no one likes to watch water boiling or not boiling. What do they say? Watch pot never boils. So we're gonna have some salt all the way around. And for a pot like this, I'd probably go that much salt. So. I used to work with a chef that said, it should taste like soup. It shouldn't taste like the sea, controversially, because if it tastes like the sea and you start adding it to this, this can get very salty very quickly. So you should season it like soup and taste it. Oh, it's pretty salty, maybe too much, but that's fine. Look at my kettle here. I can just top it up if it's too salty, dilute it. Kablam. Give it a stir. Another taste. Delicious. I know that sounds weird, but it should be seasoned nicely. Like if you should be able to almost eat it like you would a minestrone or, you know, a broth. I don't know whether that makes sense or not. It makes sense to me. Okay, so this lamb it's not gonna go, actually no, it's not gonna go in. I was gonna add it in, but I'm not gonna add it in because I wanted to say crispy. Right, cool, ignore that. Do you know what I can do? Because this is ready, and the next step here is gonna be cooking this gnocchi and then putting it in there. So to slow this down, stop the cooking, I'm just gonna add some of that water. What it's gonna start to do for us is start to build, build a sauce. All right, look at that. That looks pretty good already. Oh God, we're watching a pot boil. Fucking hell. Come on. I'm gonna actually put that on top. Oh, now you can get a better view of these. Look how jammy they are now. 
Whoa. So let's try one. Always when you're cooking, especially if you're like kind of writing a recipe or making up a new recipe, just keep tasting. Oh baby. Now I know this is supposed to be six ingredient meals, but I'm gonna have this here anyway because I know it's gonna be nice on the top. This is a lovely yogurt that has already been, you know when people make labne or like strain yogurt and it gets really nice and thick and creamy. Well, that's what they've done here and it is delicious. Lovely product. Look at that, stunning. This has to be boiling now. Boiling, amazing. Right, this is going in. We'll give that a couple mins. Maybe I should do one of these where I make gnocchi and we can make gnocchi together. It's a very fun, very fun thing to make. And remarkably easy. I actually wrote a recipe for Mob, which is on the website, where you just bake a single potato and then make gnocchi out of it. Uh, which is definitely easier than making gnocchi for like four people for dinner. Just make yourself gnocchi. Honestly, it takes no time at all. And it's a nice treat, you know. Look after yourself on a Wednesday night or whenever you're cooking. Ooh. Feels good. 20 seconds and we'll put it out. So, because we're new there, crank the heat back up under here. A little bit more of this. And you see now, I'm using this gnocchi bowl as a little tool pot. It's all just, you know, Little things that keep your section nice and tidy. Oh my god, section. Yeah, I'm good, man. Nearly there. We'll just start on the home stretch. Right. I'm going to move these over. See if I can get all of these. You know when you did make pasta or gnocchi and you wash up the pan later and there's always two, three pieces that you couldn't find. Hate that. You know? Bit of, bit of water in there. Woohoo! Right, so, knocky's in. The goal here now is we're gonna toss and toss and toss this and just marry all these ingredients together. I'm pretty sure I got everything out of there. Ooh, here we go. So, oh boy. See, already that looks delicious. So what we've got now is we're gonna go for what in the business we like to call an emulsion. We're gonna keep adding this. Oh, there was one left. See, you always miss one. Get in there. Just toss and toss. And you see how this is now coated in that beautiful oniony sauce, lush. Love that. Right, a little bit more water. So you see how much water I've added to this already? It's been like six ladles. And if this was really, really salty, this would be ruined. We don't want that. Fab, right, fab lol. Uh, right, gonna turn that down and have a taste of our sauce. Oh, it's hot. Oh my God, so good. Mm. So lamb's not in there yet, but it tastes lamby because there's all that lamb fat. There's little bits of lamb in there. I've got a depth of flavor though, which is really, really delicious. I'm gonna turn my gnocchi pot off because I don't need that now. Nice texture too. So when you're doing gnocchi or pasta, if you're in a pan like this and you've got space, just drag your spoon through it like this. See how it's just, just coming back in, but I can still see the bottom of the pan. This is a nice texture. It's loose, but it's not too loose. Nice and saucy. But you have to remember like, this This will keep kind of tightening up. So I'm just gonna add a turn a bit more. And I'm gonna add, just this, this is like finishing touches now. So I'm just gonna add the lamb, crispy lamb, all of the fat from the tray as well. We want all of that good stuff. We can go in there for later. All the mint, whole leaves. I like whole mint. I like herbs that are like, almost you eat them like salad. They're just like, you know, they've got bite and they've got punch because that's really what you want out of a herb. And I'm gonna add 
some pom. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon, I reckon, to begin with. Just dribble that in, that's gonna give it a bit of acidity. So this is a dessert spoon, so you know, it's roughly one and a half of this as a tablespoon. Right, toss that together. Oh, mama. That looks really nice. Give it a smell. Smells good, smells like mint, lamb, spices, a little bit more water. I think we're up to about eight or nine ladles now. Maybe Jake can put a little ladle counter on here for me. Stunning, right. Ah, just drop my spoon. Should we go to the plate? Let's do it. So we'll bring this over here. You can kind of see a bit better now. Look at that. Looks good. Little picture. Boom. Ooh, maybe a little video. It looks quite nice steaming like that. Whoa. Hot gnocchi. Uh, and then what else do we need? I need my little finishing move. So I'm gonna bring this, maybe for a little drizzle. Gonna turn the gas off gonna bring this whole board. So I've got the onion, the mint, pommy, yogurt. Let's go. How many portions are in this pan? I think you're looking at two big, big portions. Three slightly harsh portions. All right, let's get it on a plate. And when I plate pasta, I like to just pile it up in the middle, right? Just keep spooning to the same spot. And then the pasta kind of does the work for you. Finds its kind of natural home. That looks yum. Mm. And so for this one, I'm gonna cheat and this is gonna be seven ingredients, but I think it's gonna be nice. So this is a little optional extra. Little, it's probably too much. That much yogurt. Oh, wasn't enough. Make a little home. And just fill it up. And I'm gonna save. Okay, actually, do you know what? This looks like two pretty decent portions. You know, maybe with a bit of extra for the chef, El Jefe. Just a little sneak preview. Mmm, yum. Mmm, okay. So, I probably should have sliced this a touch thinner, but we're testing, so it's all right. Oh God, that's too much. A couple few slivers on top. Don't want too much, because Otherwise, you know, you get that kind of like raw onion flavor just stays with you for a long time. That's nice. And then a couple few leaves, I reckon. Little things of mint. I've just tasted it and I don't think I want to add any more molasses here. But what I will do is just give it a little, little drizzle of olive oil. That is always welcome in my book. Lovely. Right, shall we find somebody to try it with us? Yes, I'm gonna have another little bit, it's very yummy. Mmm. The lamb's still really crispy, which is what I wanted. I think if I had put it in too early and kind of bought you still much water I was putting in and reducing it, it would have gone soft. So this is with yogurt, without yogurt. I'm gonna grab a taster. Hoi. Chloe, you wanna try this? Yeah. Toby, you come try this. Nice one. Oh, try, just grab a spoon. Mm. I did one, one was six and then one I cheated and added an extra ingredient. 
Wow, I like this one. You like this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know this is seven ingredients. It's the, with the yogurt, but I know it's going to be nice with the yogurt because it's. What? How many? So it's Ooh. gnocchi, mm -hmm. crispy lamb, mm -hmm. raz al hanout, mm -hmm. caramelized onions and raw onions, and a bit of mint. Oh, and pomegranate molasses. Lovely. I know, I already know this one's going to be better. Lamb, gnocchi, onion, mint, mm. raz al hanout. That's way better. I'm surprised at how like rich the sauce is, really. So rich, yeah. That just from cooking the lamb and then putting... Like really crispy, really crispy, and then you take it out and then cook the... Everything was cooked very hard, like quite hard. Oh. Cool, right. All right. Things to think about. Is this still, still going? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that. I've got a big dent on my head now. Ugh, that's gross. All right, see ya. <laughs>